Okay, how's everybody doing today? Um, I'm Joe with USA DTF Transfers, and I'm going to show you today how to uh, do Pantone color matching for DTF transfers. And we learned this, we had to learn this ourselves, so I wanted to pass it along so it can help you out. Uh, this is for people who uh, print their own DTF transfers and also for our customers that are submitting artwork to uh, have transfers made. All right, so we're going to start here. If we take a look at the logo um, on the screen, we have a Pantone 207C as the color. Now, when we first printed this transfer out, the result was, was this, and it's not quite the same as the um, original screen print. So there's the there's the screen printed image and then here's the transfer so it's probably tough for you to see but there's a color difference there um and our customer really um wanted pantone 207c so we stopped what we were doing and we um uh, figured out what was going on um so this is this is the steps that you need to take. Now we're using Illustrator and we're also using CadLink um, for the software for the DTF transfers. Okay, so what you have to do is you take you have to set up your spot colors within Illustrator and Illustrator or CorelDRAW. Um, and the way to set up a spot color in Illustrator is you come over to the um, color swatch here, the fill color swatch, and you want to double click on the color itself. And you can see it's Pantone 207C. I'm going to make sure it says spot color. And then here you need to change this to RGB. All right, so here's the values for the 207C as RGB. Now, you'll take those values and you'll enter them into your print optimizer software by going up to Devices, Manage Spot Colors, and here is where um, you enter those values. I've already done that, so we have to match exactly what um, is in the spot color in Illustrator says. So we have this exactly the same Pantone 207C. And then I enter the values for that here. And then you save it and you exit. Okay, so that way, every time that um, you design something and you have your spot color set up, every time it comes into the print optimizer software, it's going to print um, those values and you're going to get that color, you know, that you're looking for. So. Here is the second transfer after changing the RGB values. And it's, again, it's probably tough for you to see, but here is the first transfer, and there is the second transfer. So as you can see, it's much, much, um, much, much better. And compare the screen print and the new transfer, and you can see those colors are spot on. All right, so I hope this helps everybody. And again, if you are submitting your artwork for transfers, um, please submit them as a PDF. That way we can um, make sure that the colors will match. You can't use a PNG to do this with. It has to be the vector art, so a PDF works perfectly. All right, so if you've got any questions about submitting your artwork, please let us know. Um, we'll be happy to help you out so we can get those color matches for you. And um, I hope everybody has a great day. We'll talk to you later. Peace.